All right. We got the NFL starting tonight, Bills, Rams. But it's Thursday. And Thursday means it's time for deal breakers. All right, this is the part of the show where we reluctantly hand it over to Roberto to ask us some questions <laughs> of whether or not this would be oh, this it. scenario will be a deal breaker. You Most times we become his therapist as it always feels in the end <laughs> you just want to say Roberto, yes, she is leaving you. I can luck I can absolutely say this week none nothing about even that relates to me. So I feel good about this week. Okay. All right, let's get started with one here. You're dating a girl for a few weeks now, and things are going pretty good. The only problem is more than one person has said that she looks a lot like your mother. You don't see it, but people keep saying it. What do you do? You know what, <clears throat> Evan? I'm going to start it off with you. <laughs> My first question is, how hot is your mom? But no, <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of funny like i'll throw a couple of my friends out on blast where i think both of their wives look very very similar <laughs> and they don't personally see it but hey if you like the girl i mean why not it's not like you're marrying your mom just so happens when you're going to bed it might be next to your mom <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't shattered that glass yet where you actually see it everybody keeps telling and you, you may never see it that's true well that's the thing if you actually don't see it then you're never going to see it, right? If that's, You wouldn't have gone out with her in the first place if you, you if you it. saw that. Right, but Kenny, think about it. It's, a, it's that day that the glass gets shattered, and you're like, oh, my God, now I see it. Well, then you're in too deep at that point, right? <laughs> I mean, you said a couple of weeks. How long is that going to take? Right. A month, like a year? You're at Christmas, and you see it at dinner, and you're like, oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Thanksgiving, they're <laughs> sitting next to each other, and you're like, what have uh, I done? Wait, Same oh, haircut. Yeah. Yeah. David? <laughs> Oh, is this a deal breaker? I mean, as long as, yeah, as long as you don't see it in your head, as long as you don't actually, you know, it clicks, it's not a deal breaker. But the minute it clicks, it's over. Yeah, you it hear Stone Cold's over. music. I mean, <laughs> you always hear that, you know, people <laughs> try to find their mother or father when they're yeah, when they're dating. Somebody that remembers. Yes. But, but look alike. Well, that's a big Freud thing, right? That you. Uh... That's a huge Freud thing. Yeah. So, like in the '90s, if like if you're Pamela Anderson's kid, I mean, what do you do? I mean, she was like the top of the tops. Can't right. date a blonde with big boobs. What well, that that would be? What your mom looks like? Though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you're saying her son? Yeah. So he screwed the rest oh, of so his you life. Want to get someone that looks like that? <laughs> that's what, what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Still, yeah. That is weird. You know what? I, I'm going to say probably if if everybody is seeing this but you, you may want to listen because in the end, when that when that when that day finally happens that you realize it, you're right. You, you don't want to. You don't want to be in so deep that you're like, now I I can't I can't end this. No, I'm stubborn. I don't want to listen to that. If I'm happy and I don't see it, then. Yeah. F everybody else. Yeah, screw so you your just friends. tell people, leave me alone, yes. stop bringing it up, and you make sure <laughs> that they awkward. never sit next to each other at Christmas. How <laughs> <Yeah>. awkward. <laughs> you two are wearing the exact same thing. Wow. Oh okay, I see. Oh, no. <laughs> or they're complaining about something identical. Right. Like, no way. They say oh, it no. the exact same, or you make a mistake and call her mom, like, oh, 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 oh in bed. Oh, no. <laughs> see, you, you know what? You always take things too far, Roberto. Just leave it at you. Say, Mom, the right. bad part. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why. You know what? No. Nope. Hey, we next, said Freud. Next, we next, said Freud. Next. All right. This is probably the longest scenario I've ever come up with for this game. So kind of ride with me on this one. Your coworker asks you if you would like to donate to the wife of his friend who is going through chemotherapy and can't afford the treatments. You ask, how can you donate? And he says, they are older people who don't have Venmo and want to keep the matter private. He says, just give me the cash and I'll make sure they get the money. Would you go along with this? Yeah, I mean, your friend, if, if they're, it's their friends, it's your friends. It's your friend. co-worker's friend's wife. Your co-worker's friend's wife. Yeah. So do you, do you even know these people? No. 
listen, I mean, if somebody's lying to you about cancer, then they have bigger problems. Yeah. But would you would feel more money. comfortable if it was a GoFundMe or something legit? Not, you're not just handing cash over to a guy? You know what? It, at, at that point, I am pro- I got a limit. Maybe I give you, you know, 20 bucks. Right. Something you could afford to lose. It, it, if you're scamming me, you're right. Man, yeah. that, that's between you and your God on Judgment Day that you lied about some cancer. In the words of the loonies, I got five on it. Right, but I'll give you a small amount. Now, right, if it's a Venmo type thing, if it's a, you know, uh, what, what do you Go call fund it? Me. Go fund me. Yeah, I'd feel better. But then again, some of those have been scams. If people are lying about that, then bad things will happen to them Times down the road. Tough. Yeah, I'll throw I'll throw 20 your way, but that's about it, man. I'm not going yeah, to go out of my people. way. If I, if you're right. I don't know this person. It's the mother of a person that I know, friend or whatever right. it is. Right, if it's the co-worker's wife, then, yeah, you know, I'll help you There's out. There's so but... many obstacles. I'll just give you right. 20 and we'll not talk about it anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I bring this up because currently on a, a podcast that I listen to regularly, this is actually a scenario that is happening with, with a guy and um, – so I we didn't talk about that on Cash the Ticket this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was not Jim Costa. <laughs> Did you talk about it on the Five Star Zone? No, no. Did not talk about it on Five Star Zone, no, which is going to be dropping this is, soon. This is on a, a different platform total. Also wasn't on Busting Balls or Necessary Roughness. It's so weird. <laughs> right. You mean Caputo wasn't talking about this? No, no. He'll no, be no, later. No, maybe no. maybe it'll Jansen. be later. <laughs> no, not Jansen. No, no. But that TJ. is also Had available. To be TJ. Yeah, TJ, there it is. Yeah, it was oh, TJ. My God. Is it wrong that I would just give them the money? I kind of, I kind of treat it like the homeless. What they do with it, you and know David, what? that's what I'm saying. I, I'll give you. Right, it's good karma yeah, for you. I'll and give even you if, right. something. I'm not g- giving you a bunch, but here's twenty bucks. Good luck. Yeah, you go mind booze, not a sandwich. It is what it is. I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> but you tell them, right? Don't buy booze with this. You know what? Do what it's you want to do. It's all for me after I do, after right. I give him money. What, what, but right, because that person's going to tell you the truth. No, I won't. I won't buy booze. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, they always say that. I appreciate the guy that has a sign that's like, I am going to use your money for yeah. booze. I, I need yeah, it I for drugs and, and stuff. Like, You know what? So yeah, be it. I respect, I, I respect the hustle. <laughs> you have to. All right. Wow. Interesting. All you guys would give money on that. That's very. What about you? Right? Obviously, he won't. I guess it depends who the coworker is. If, if I even have a hint of like sleaziness, or it's like, not the coworker uh, you know, though. Okay, I so know, it's but... me bringing this up to you, Roberto. Are you giving me twenty? Yes, I would. So wow. okay, so you're saying it's a coworker that you know is a, a degenerate. <laughs> Yeah, let's and say that. And they're asking you for money. Okay, see, right. you didn't say that. Well, I mean, okay, if that because was Because most case, people, then... you look at your coworker and you respect them for that. But now, right, if it's a person that you know, this person gambles all the time. Right. And they always are losing, then, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah, if it's Jeff, yeah, you're like... I'm probably at that point. If I know that, not they just give me the cash. Yeah, now, now, now you, you. That's a different scenario. Probably not. No, I'm not. If he that, is a guy that stole from his own wife's savings to buy a burrito. Oh, remember that one? Oh no. So yeah. If I know that this is a person that is somewhat of a scumbag, no, that's yeah. different. Yeah. I just give you cash. Mm-mm, no, let me know when the GoFundMe goes up, and I'll donate there. Right. Or you know what? Give me that person's number, and I'll make sure they get the money. Right. But I'm not giving it to you because you're headed straight down to the casino with it. <laughs> All right. Let me give you another one here. Kind of a true life story, I would say. An iconic, iconic restaurant in your hometown is shut down for rats. There is another iconic mm. restaurant with the same exact menu right next door, and they receive a clean bill. Do you believe this is possible, or would you stop going to both places? Uh-huh. I mean, I, <laughs> I guess the rats are no, uh, they don't really respect boundaries. I also feel like the moment you walk into a kitchen of like your favorite restaurant would probably change your opinion on said restaurant just from all the gordon ramsay shows i've watched over time having said that no i'm still gonna get that food if it's if it's my favorite <laughs> i'm still going here's the thing oh, it's not like the rats are crawling in the food they're just uh, on the floor uh, they're crawling in the food before it's food that we don't we don't know that 
They might just be I hanging th- out. You know what? I do think that this is one of those that you don't want to know ever. Oh, you, <laughs> you don't. think you want to know? You don't, you don't want to know. You you don't want to know about your girlfriend's or wife's history? No, pass you on that every time. You don't want to know what goes on in your favorite restaurant. You just know you love the steak or you love the chicken or you love whatever it is that they're popular for. <laughs> and there's magical clean elves that put it together and don't tell me anything different. It's like the Seinfeld episode where he saw Poppy in the bathroom and he didn't wash his hands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. As long as I don't see the rats, the rats in my mind don't exist at all. So no, they're, they're like, they're like the mind. Disney. They're like Ratatouille from Disney. <laughs> they help it taste better. Or the rats in Cinderella. Yeah, they're helping. Or are they mice. I don't know. I go into every restaurant hoping that Jesus and his angels are cooking my food yeah. in the back. Oh. You don't want to know. I don't ever want to know. And I'm never going back to either restaurant, by the way. Oh. They're done. See, see? I'll go. I'll let you know how it is, David. <laughs> see, I'm just wondering, like, seriously, if one has it, they're right next door. I know. Other. Come on, yeah, If you want to do some man on the street stuff and go sample both of them when they when the other one reopens, so let's go. And I'll guarantee I tell you the same thing out you, of both. You they know, were good. You know the other one probably called up like, we're still open today. Right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're dancing in front with a sign. Yeah. Hey, closed. We're open. <laughs> We're going to give half off. But that might be why the other place was better, because it wasn't as clean. You know, that gives it the flavor, you know? Oh, my. Yeah, it's like um, Greasy those, spoon. those flat top grills, and you need to season them to get the flavor. Like uh, Miller's, when they were selling their burgers, like somebody needs to buy that grill and put it in their backyard. So the rats are the seasoning? <laughs> Once again, hey, it, it's Evan, there's a difference between seasoning become years of not cleaning the grill and rats these might be cultured rats we don't know they're rats <laughs> okay if they had wings they'd be called pigeons right uh, but they're okay. not getting up and walking around with a tray of food like hey no they just jump from tray to tray to tray <laughs> <laughs> now if the fries are half eaten then we can start talking oh come on yeah <sighs> <laughs> See, I, I mean, I, I probably... They, they're I, using the fryer for their bathroom. I was never a big fan of, of that one e- anyway. That wasn't the one that I would choose to oh, go to. Oh, really? So I, I, it, it just... It, it looked like you were in a submarine when you walked Is in Is it there. bad that I think they all taste alike? All of them? Because they do. Whether you <laughs> go to one at the corner by your house or you go right, downtown. They, they, yeah, they yeah, all yeah. serve the same uh, Coney sauce. In a hypothetical situation, Hypothetically, of if it was Coney's, it yes. would be the same Coney sauce, but... Right. We could be talking about taco places. Pizza. Ooh, absolutely. I pizza. like pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> Stafford likes pizza. Pizza, pizza. Oh, now, if he was in that kitchen, I wouldn't go. Oh, for God's sake. All right. We got- if Gordon was in that kitchen, I wouldn't go. <laughs> Jordan Stafford, both more offensive than rats to you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not Jordan, though. I'd go if he was in the kitchen. Yeah. All right, Roberto, one more real quick. <laughs> you want another one? Yeah. Okay. You're in a fantasy league with your good friends. Two of them drop out in the offseason, creating open spots. The commissioner insists on trying to fill the spots with strangers that only he knows. Is this a deal breaker? I'm going to say no, because I've been the commissioner, and when people drop out, you're scrambling. Now you just want to fill those spots immediately, and sometimes you just have buddies who are like, dude, you know, Evan loves fantasy football. Evan's going to pay me on time because let's just be real. You just need somebody who's going to pay you the money. You don't care who wins. I agree with you. Just dealing with fantasy. I like I bailed on one for a while because it became too stressful and there's too much whatever going on. But I agree. As long as they pay and they fill out their lineup every year and they're not trying to sewer the league, take them. I don't care if I know you, if I don't know you. I don't care if it's a woman that looks like your mom. I don't care. (laughs) This actually happened to me once, and this caused the demise of the league entirely because everybody kind of just separated away from the commissioner and his friends. And we were like, this isn't fun anymore. We don't know, like, a third of the league at this point. So it kind of just killed the league. Well, isn't that on you to say, hi, I'm Kenneth Cott. 